look what she's wearing! Oh my god. Hey guys, welcome back to another new video. Derek Reacts back at it again. And yes, we're going to be taking a look at Act 5 from Kylie Minogue's Les Follies Tour, Aphrodite. Um, I'm looking forward to this, guys. We're going to be covering Confide in Me, Can't Get You Out of My Head, and In My Arms, those three songs. She ended with a bang in the last act, Act 4, and I loved it with Slow. Um, I'm looking forward to these three songs and she will see, see what she's got here. Before we get into the video, please take a moment, comment, like, and subscribe. I would love to hear your feedback. Makes videos like these all the more possible. And also, take a moment to follow me and like me both on Instagram and on Facebook. And if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. I also have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations and your voice um, all the more possible. Alright guys, without further ado, let's go. So now we got Holograph as the fifth act five. Oh. Ooh. I like that. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's amazing. Oh, my God. Oh my god. So now we're getting this um this instrumental here by Holograph um you know the 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 intro to begin um this the fifth act and I'm going to tell you something this is epic. If you guys know if um there if this is available for me to get on my Spotify or whatever I have to look and find out because this is amazing to transition from holograph into confide in me and it's it sounds amazing the synths and the beats to this this is up my alley guys uh. look at that oh my god Guys, this is epic, 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 epic. This is what I want to hear from Kylie, and this is what I want her to do. And this is, she's doing it. She's delivering it. She's delivering it. Notice what they're wearing. I love what they're wearing here. They're kind of like shorts and pants at the same time. Um, you know, like these short tights uh, they're wearing. I like that. I like what they're doing here. This is, this is incredible. This is incredible. I'm loving this. <laughs> Oh my god. Look what she's wearing! Oh my god. Ooh. Should I offer some assistance? 
God. Oh my god, this is so good. This is so good. This is so good. This is better. I think this is better than the original, the way they treated this. The treatment to this is absolutely superb with the synths and how they're coming in. I love it. This is this is what I love to hear, and this is why I love stuff like this. Um, Kylie, Kylie's bringing it on. She's bringing it on. Um, I did a reaction to Confide in Me, if you guys don't know. I'll put a link on the top. Um, it was a very, very interesting video. I actually like that video. Um, and the song was good too. But this one, this might blow it out of the water. My God, I love this version. Her voice is spectacular. Spectacular in this. I love it. I love how she's going up and down. I'm loving this kind of like foil type of a dress that she's got on. My God. It's unbelievable. It's like a gown. It's like a foil. And it's very structured. So when she moves, it's, it doesn't really, you know, move with her. It's a very, very structured thing. But the, the, the sounds on this song are just coming in so beautifully. I'm loving it. Um, you know, the, the electro beats with the... Um, the, the 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 deep deep synths the deep synths layering coming in so nice um very similar to her um confide in me the song structurally but it has a different sound different sound all the way i would say oh. oh the choice is yours hit or miss what's mine is your stick Oh, I like that. The choice is yours, hit or miss. It's mine as well. We all get hurt by love. And we all have our cross to bear. Love it. Drop it, drop it. Drop the beat, Kylie, drop it. My God. Beautiful, beautiful. Excellent, excellent. Excellent done. Excellent done. She did this. She did this. She did this song justice. My God. Remember, I I reacted to her um self to the to the 1994 version. I believe. Um, I know this was from her self titled album Kylie. Um, and I did a reaction to that video, and she blew that one out of the water. Um, you know, I actually did like that one. That was good. But this one, forget it. This one was slayed. This one was slayed. I mean, completely, completely owned. Um, sonically, amazing, amazing. Um, 
I, I think I was a little bit, I don't know if I have to probably go back to it, but I was a little indifferent about it, um, the original one. This one here is, is just completely the way she just treated this. It's just unbelievable with that, that very pop, but also, um, you know, very, very, uh, just those deep sounds, those deep um, uh, synth sounds, you guys. This is going to get a 10 for me, a 10. Let me write it down so I don't forget. A 10. Amazing, amazingly done by... By Kylie, and you know what I like? What I like is that I'm seeing a trend now. I'm seeing a trend. I think what's gonna happen is she's gonna come out of the gates on this one for Act Five and completely blow Act Five out of the water. I wouldn't be surprised if Act Five is my favorite. I don't know yet. I mean, I still got a lot, a lot more acts to go through, so I'll have to see. But I mean, thus far, I mean, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, this track, like I said before, was written by Steve Anderson, Dave Seaman, and Owen Morton, um, and production was handled by the British trio Brothers in Rhythm. This is the original song I'm referring to, and the original one has those indie kind of flavors with the trip hop and trip hop and um, the Middle Eastern vibes, um, and that you get all those strings and percussions. There's some percussions in this one too, but guys. The synths and those keyboard arrangements and all those things are just so deep and so good. Lyrically, she's singing about, you know, her earnest seduction of manipulating people to confide in her. Um, and that video is so cool. I always, I'm, I keep referring to the video because it's a cool video. But look at this. Visually displaying all this with all those men dressed in those things. And, um, and, and sonically, this song is so good. So good. So good. Um, I'll see you guys for the next one. Can't get you out of my head. Notice what she's doing here with this song. Um, can't get you out of my head. I'm familiar with the song. Um, back in high school, uh, 2001. Uh, I was in high school when this came out. This was very, very popular, especially in the U.S. Um, and uh, this is a very poppy song. So they're giving a, a rock treatment to it, and beginning with the drums and everything. So it's very rock edgy. I want to see how she takes it with this because this is interesting. I've never heard heard a version this version before. Good, good count, bro. This is so so different. I I, I just uh, I can't get used to this version. It's very very different. Um, I mean, it's been many many years since I've seen the video and everything like that. But um, it's so different, and I feel like she's not really comfortable um, in that dress. Like she's like really str like sh too structured to the point where she can't really move too much. Um, especially more specifically for this performance, where there seems to be a lot of you know um, you know dancing and choreograph involved. But 
very interesting how she just switches gears from a very, very poppy performance from Confide in Me into this really hard rock type of setting. Ooh. There's some synths in there. Look at that. Cool masks. I like that. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. I like that. Yeah! I like that. Oh, oh. Think about it for a moment. Think about how many times she's probably performed this song. This is a big hit, big hit, big hit of hers. Um, very, very well known. I mean, I, an iconic song. Um, and she's just trying to like switch things up, make it different. And she's engaging the crowd. This makes me like her even more when she does stuff like this. I love it. Um, it's it, it truly says a lot about an artist. How you and I've said this before, especially with Queen and um, other artists. Um, engaging the crowd and becoming very very you know together and you know putting on a show for everybody being united um together like this i love that and i love seeing everyone respond to that it's just visually so so wonderful um amazing amazing and i love this i love what she's doing um and the song is okay the song in this kind of sound setting is okay i'm hearing synthesizers they're coming in <laughs> so catchy uh, this song is uh catchy most most notably for its la 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 you know um that 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 part i mean the hook you know that's the catchy part of it and that's what makes this song so appealing um because it it when she does that it, it matches the rhythm and tempo is more specifically on the original uh, song um, and and like I said, it's been a while. But do I like the treatment that she gave this? I I don't really I can't say I do. I can't really say I do. Is it different? Yes. There are some synths in there to help it to help it along and progress, and I like that. I like what she did with that. Um, and I feel like she was kind of like you know um, hampered from her you know moving from side to side and doing what she what she she does uh, specifically with this song that it seems to be more involved with you know movements and stuff like that because of her dress and what she was wearing. So for that for that um, purpose, uh, it's a little iffy. Um, I'm gonna give this one a seven. Um, I'm not gonna I'm I'm not gonna. I, I, it's hard to rate something like this when the song is is good and you know it's good. But specifically for this performance and this concert, it wasn't really, it wasn't all that. I love what she did engage in the crowd. That was great. Um, this song was written and produced by Kathy De Dennis and Rob Davis. Kathy Dennis, she sounds so familiar. I got to figure out who she is because I think she's responsible for writing a lot of um, gems and a lot of hits. I got to look into her stuff. Um, and it's known for its dance pop, techno pop, and neo disco. That's what I was re referring to. Those type of things. So um, it has a lot to do with her obsession with the love interests um, and that la 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 hook. You know that that very catchy hook. So that's what it's all about and stuff. Um, but this song did so well, so well um, in the U.S. 
Um, and, you know, like I said, in the U.S., it's hard to break in, but she broke in. She broke in. And actually, this was the second time, I think, that she broke in since Locomotion, 1987. And she peaked at number seven with the Billboard Hot 100 on, on this song. And um, commercially, this song did uh, really well in uh, Australia, Austria, Belgium, France, Germany, Italy, New Zealand, Poland, Switzerland, among others. I mean, all over the place, all, all over the place. Over a million copies in the UK sold. So did a lot, did a lot, did very well. Very, very rock oriented, very, uh, very edgy. A lot of guitar fiddling, a lot of guitar strings. Um, those, those drums and all those things happening. So that was what was happening there. Uh, very different from Kylie. I never really heard kind of like that really rock out edge, except for that song that I did with her, uh, that I, the reaction I did, I did with her, um, a while back. I forgot what was the song that I did. Um, it was that, that was pretty good too. Um, I have to, I have to go back to my stuff and see what, what, uh, what she did but it, that was kind of i had that very 90s type of like a little rock edge that i'm not accustomed from kylie from seeing but she, she proved me wrong with that one um but this one was uh, it was okay so the next one is going to be in my arms i'll see you guys for that one next Oh. How do you describe a feeling? I love that. I only ever dreamt of this. Ooh. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my god, I love this. This is amazing. So in my arms, this is from her 10th out the studio album X. I gotta check that album out. I, I've heard a lot of people saying that if I love synths, X is the one to go to. I gotta check it out. But it's unbelievable. So synthy. My god. This is synth pop, guys. Synth heaven, like I usually say. God, her dress is so high. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, God. So what I like about this song, um, how it's structured. I like the structure of it, how it's um, pieced together. You hear like all those synths, and then at the point when she is about to sing the chorus, it drops. And then, then she sings, uh, how does it feel to be in my arms? And she, and she sings it. I, I just love it. It's just so great. Um, the instrumentation here is so good. Little, little simple things, little things that you do in production to make a song um, so appealing. And that's all it is. Sometimes simpler is better, guys. Oh. 
You hear the bass? Oh. I love it. I love it. Amazing. Amazing. A very simple song structured as well as lyrical content. And a, a little goes a long way, specifically with this song. Really, really nice from her X album, 2007. I'm going to have to check that album out, guys. It's a lot of good sounding stuff from there. Um, but what I like about it is the arrangement, how it's done. You hear that bass in there. I'm not going to forget about that bass. That bass was good. Um, very subtly in the back, but then the synths kind of like overtake it and then you hear the, those little little, you know, lovely synths coming in um, and Then when th those come in it drops and then Kylie comes and sings her chorus with uh, That that intermittent break of, of beat. It's just unbelievable. It has retro vibes this uh, dance elements to it um, with all these synth arrangements and I like that I like what she did uh, with this one. And who was responsible for this? Well, it was written by Minogue herself, Paul Harris, uh, Julianne Peek, and producers, Calvin Harris. So I'm familiar with Calvin Harris. He has, he has some good stuff. So I can probably picture the, 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 you know, his responsibility in it. And also Richard Biff Stonard from, you know, uh, helping there. So a lot of people are involved in this song. Um, and I like it. I love it. I love it. It's very, uh, it has all those Kylie traits, those euphoric traits. And I like what they do here, the dancers with their arms, how they're moving them and stuff like that. How does it feel in my arms? Very, being very, very, you know, um, physical, but also very um, blunt about it, you know, lyrically, how she's, you know, singing it. This was a good act, guys. I'm going to give this one an eight. I'm going to give this one an eight. How does it feel in my arms? This is a very good. It's a good, it's a, one of those good songs to have on an album. Um, this one is an eight for me. So in my arms, eight, can't get you out of my head. I gave that one a 10. And then, no, I didn't give that one a 10. I think I gave that one a seven. Let me write that one down. Gave that one a seven. Um, Confide in me, I gave a 10. So for act five, confine in me, 10. Can't get you out of my head, seven. And then in my arms, uh, I gave it an eight. So another solid performance, stellar performance for, by, by Kylie, act five. She did very, very well in act four. Um, but all in all, it's been very, very kind of like, very, very well, you know, a, a good flow, a good flow that this, this concert has. So guys, we're in, we're midway already um, into this, uh, this concert here. Um, and we still got many, many to go. We got a uh, six, seven, um, and and on the encore, and we'll, we'll see what she's got for that for the surprise for us. But she's killing it. She's slaying it. Um, I'm loving her costume changes and everything. And every time she enters, that's that's I get I get a big smile on my face because she always surprises me with what she she does. And this time around, she entered um, with that statue behind her. That was so dope. So so nice. Um, and I can't wait to continue this, guys, with you. And and I, I hope you're enjoying this because I'm enjoying it as much as you are, hopefully. Uh, but I'm, I'm loving it. And I'm, I'm seeing your guys' comments and seeing what you have to say. And I can't wait to get my hands on her stuff here. I pro Probably after this concert, I'll probably dig into her album stuff. And more specifically, her X album. That X album is very enticing. I mean, the title alone uh, does it for me, you know? So... I love it. I love when Kylie does these things. All right, guys. I'll see you guys for the next one. Um, see you soon. Hey, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like these, be sure to check this one out. And also, take a moment to comment, like, and smash the subscribe button to stay on all the latest reaction videos. And, guys, I have a Patreon link down below. Be sure to check that out when you get a chance. Help support my channel. Makes recommendations like the one you just watched right now 
all the more possible. All right, guys. Take care. I love you guys. Peace.